Gemini. Welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 14th of April. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I'm using my teacup tarot and my time to shine oracle. So starting off with your overall energy. How lovely, the four of wands. This is you being appreciated for everything you do and all that you are. And look, she's been given this lovely bunch of tulips and a thank you balloon. So this is about you receiving with grace and with gratitude. It's very easy to always be the giver. And it's just as important to receive in equal measure. Your help or your hurdle, the nine of coins says it's time for you to take some time out and enjoy yourself. Enjoy the results of your hard work. And that's just what she's doing here, look. She's having a bubbly bath and a cup of tea. So after you've been busy working hard, taking this time out, treating yourself to something lovely and enjoying the results of your hard work. What do you need to focus on? This is lovely, three of teacups, celebrating, good news coming in, happiness, social invitations, spending time with other people reason to celebrate so this is you being appreciated and reason to celebrate all in the first row looking good how can you help yourself the seven of pencils is about you focusing on your needs and your plans now those are the only options she has with this signpost look She's leaving behind the old ways. So this could be people pleasing or doing everything for everybody else first. And this card says it's time to focus on your needs and your plans and get moving in that new direction. Pulling it all together, the page of pencil steps in with some information and some clarity. This is what you've been waiting for. If things have felt a bit uncertain or a bit unsure, the page of pencils comes in with new information that can bring you the clarity that you've been looking for. Now, it can mean delays sometime. It can mean a change to plan, but that's OK because it's keeping you on track now the page of pencils is not the most tactful individual so take no notice of the messenger but listen closely to the message it's there to help you and the three of pencils here is very much a card of healing and moving on here are lovely angels they're talking things over they're enjoying a cup of tea together and then there are no barriers in front of them. They can just get up and move forward. So very much healing and moving on. Moving on in a new direction. Moving on with your plans now. And this information from the page of pencils is helping you to do just that. Here you are being appreciated and here you are learning to take some time out just for you. So let's get a bit more information from the Time to Shine deck. The Two of Emotion. This is about good relationships. It's the positive outcome to discussions. But it's also asking you to be absolutely clear in your communication with other people. It's about listening and speaking and making sure you clearly understand one another. The Eight of Wisdom says, do what you know is the right thing to do. This is you choosing honesty, integrity, wisdom and fairness and allowing those qualities to lead the way. What do you need to focus on? A job well done. The completion of one thing. And it's also advancement to the next level. So celebrations, we're talking about that here. Celebrating a job well done. It's the completion of one cycle and it's the start of a brand new one with advancement and success. How can you help yourself? The two of wisdom says just pause, think it all through. 
Do not be rushed into any decisions. Look at all your options. Step back and ask yourself, is this what I would really like to do? This is about you. We're talking here about you focusing on your needs now. And this is you thinking about it, understanding the importance of that and then making your move. The five of action, pulling it all together, says it's time to leave the nonsense behind. Avoid any drama or confrontation. You can hear it going on in the background like she can on the card. Here's this thunderstorm. But she's got a Wellington, she's got her umbrella and she's moving towards the sunshine. So it's leaving behind anybody, any drama. Better still, leaving behind anybody else's drama. And you focusing on this new way forward. And your final outcome card, this is lovely. This is the dreamer card, the first card in the whole deck. Here you are. You've decided, following your dreams, going in your new direction and enjoying this lovely opportunity. And this card says you can do it. It might mean stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit. It might be mean trying something new. This card says you are ready. So looking at the cards overall, very much a focus of moving in a new direction. A new focus with more emphasis on you and your plans and your needs. You understanding the importance of that. Leaving behind any nonsense. The information is going to come in this week to help you with that. There's some sort of information. There's some sort of new idea or clarity coming in. Then here you are. Healing, moving on, reason to celebrate following your moral compass, following your plans, which include your needs. It's the end of one cycle and it's the beginning of a fantastic new start. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you even more for subscribing and supporting my channel. It's free. Just click the button and it's truly appreciated. So look after yourselves, have a lovely week and I'll see you here soon.